Okay, good evening Facebook and how is everybody this Sunday evening? I hope everybody's had a chilled Sunday. I know I have. It feels like forever since I came on and did some makeup. So I thought, you know what? It's um, the first of my spiritual chats this evening. So I thought, do makeup and spiritual chat while having a coffee with you all. Hi, Abby. So I have my coffee in hand and I've got all my makeup. Um, so if you're having a coffee, join me for a coffee or tea or whatever it is that you drink on a Sunday. <laughs> How are you, Abby? I hope everyone is having a wonderful Sunday. Um, I want to welcome all our new members that have joined um, this group. I hope that you will enjoy the group as much as um, my regular uh, people have enjoyed the group. Uh, there will be a new weekly schedule going up um, tonight at some point for this week. Every week I will be putting a schedule up that tells you when I'm going to go live, what activities we are having in here, when, etc, etc, so that you know when I'm tuning in uh, and where to grab a hold of us. Um, we've got a variety of chats in here um, and activities going on. We have tomorrow evening will be our come along and join me um, from 10 p.m. till 12 midnight. UK time where you can ask me to pick a card for you. I'll be happy to pick um, a card and read a card for you. Uh, Saturday night, um, which was last night, we had our very first meditation evening. So uh, if you've missed that one, you can catch the live video on there as well. Um, but I thought on a Sunday, it's a chill out day. So nice to do a little bit of makeup, even though you're not going anywhere, makeup can make you feel a lot better. And a lot of people have said to me, well, I'm not good at makeup, can't do makeup. Well, for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm registered blind and I struggle um, to see sort of physical things. I can see spiritual folk and spiritual things quite clearly because my third eye is really acute um, but my physical vision isn't that great but even I have worked ways round of doing makeup so literally if anyone wants to do makeup it doesn't matter what your makeup skills are it doesn't matter whether you get it right or wrong first time it's all about having fun um, and getting the colours that you want uh, and trial and error. You know, the good thing about makeup is if you put makeup on and you don't like it, you just take it off and start again. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm not a makeup artist, don't ever claim to be, but I do um, like the fact that um, for me, putting on a little bit of makeup, even when I'm not going anywhere, gives me self confidence. And that's what it's all about. Um, but tonight, as well as the makeup, it's your chance to get to know me, the Lady Moonlight. Um, you might have questions, spiritual questions that you want to ask um, myself. And now is the opportunity to do that. Or we can just chat about anything, really. Because, um, you know, I like to get to know all our group members and uh, hopefully you like to get to know me and if you're watching it on the replay you can still ask questions um, and I will always as always um, answer those questions uh, I now do have um, my own website as well which has all my links my TikTok my YouTube Instagram everywhere that I am at the minute it's also got my um, shop on there for any of the makeup that I use. Um, I only ever use a Vera um, shop makeup just because it's natural 
and I have super sensitive skin uh, and it's uh, very sensitive to chemicals so I can't use high street products um, because a lot of them have harmful um, chemicals but as a traditional witch natural for me is best anyway so um, it took me 50 years well 50 odd years to find um, natural products as good as the Avira brands and I'm saying Avira brands because under the Avira umbrella we have lots of brands um, and they're all natural hi says and welcome to the group so um, that's a little bit about me I'm a Reiki master and a traditional witch um, have been a witch all my days wouldn't want to be anything else um, I have my own TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and of course this Facebook group. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of makeup tonight and then if anyone wants to ask any spiritual questions, and that could be anything you like um, while I'm doing my makeup and having my coffee. So if you've not got a coffee, put the kettle on, join me for a coffee um, and a blether. Oh, you're welcome. Lovely to have you in the group. Um, so, I'm going to um, do a little bit of makeup while um, everybody's jumping on. Now, because I am registered blind and I can't see a breathing thing, I always use a 20 times magnified mirror. So, you'll see me using that a lot. But again, it's just proof that it doesn't matter what your disability is. You can do makeup. You just find ways around it. Oh, well, you're in the right place then. There's lots of free readings here. We have meditation evening on a Saturday. Um, uh, and we also have uh, rune readings. There's a lot going on. <laughs> We also have card of the day as well, so lots and lots of things going on. Um, and I hope to introduce a lot more things as the group starts to grow. But yeah, if you're into like spiritual health and beauty or natural health and beauty, then this is the place to be. Well... You'll love last night's meditation then, says, because um, it's a sky and earth grounding one. And um, when I teach um, my spiritual classes, which I do now and again, which are um, usually free, um, it's one of the first meditations I teach. Uh, and it helps you to ground and balance your chakras and stuff. So... I think next Saturday's meditation is past life regression. So it's a meditation that will take you back in time to maybe a past life that you may or may not have lived in. Um, and it gives you a little bit of um, insight into your yourself as well and your past. I'm glad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, Sort my brows out because I have very faded brows. I'm 57 so they do go a little bit grey and they go a little bit sparse. And for anyone that has sparse brows, this stuff is the bomb. It is our um, Avira Eyebrow Gel which feeds the lashes. Uh, the brows, sorry. Lashes? Not even got that far yet. So how I use this is I go against the grain and just gently brush it over. Again, I'm using my mirror because I'm as blind as a bat without it. And when you're doing that, you might think, well, why is she going against the grain? It's because this picks up every hair and it feeds it. It's kind of like a, a brow food and then you just go back over it. So it kind of brushes your brow, but it feeds it at the same time. Then I do the same on the other side. Of 
Oh, fantastic. Look forward to seeing you on Saturday. That's what I love to hear. I will be putting a, um, a weekly schedule up later this evening. Um, there's already one up for like the end of today. But uh, I always, once I've done my lives on here, I always put up a new schedule for the following week. So you know where I am, when I am, etc. And you can also find me on YouTube. Um, I have um, a meditation playlist on the Mystic Witch on YouTube as well. So go along and subscribe to that. You'll find all my cards of the days on there and other exciting things. Because I just like to help people along life's way. Um, so does anyone have any questions that they want to ask? Re spiritual stuff, how to connect, spirit boards, Ouija boards which are the same thing really, um, how Reiki works, because I'm a Reiki master as well, so I, I do a lot of um, distant Reiki, and of course I work with crystals, for crystal healing as well. So I'm going to fill in all the sparse um, brows that I have, with our Wow Brow um, Tinted. Now this has microfibers in it. So if you've got like gaps in your brows, this is gonna fill them in, also color them as well. And it just lasts all day once it's dry. Anything, absolutely anything. Some people might ask about dreams, Do what, what dreams do, um, do dreams hold messages? Some people ask about what are the differences to dreams and visions. Some people ask about um, what's the best type of card reading? Is it the ones that you follow the rule books with cards or is it the ones where you use your intuition? It could be absolutely anything. Some people ask me about um, how to open the third eye because they want to connect more deeply with the spiritual stuff. So I get a lot of questions about a lot of things um, and I always say there's no question, you know, I, I've had some people say to me, I don't want to ask that because it, look, it sounds silly. No question sounds silly. If you don't ask, how are you going to learn? That's, that's the way um, I put it. Um, and believe you me, in my 57 years, um, I have seen a lot and experienced a lot, so. Yes, very much so. Um, since I was young, I have been able to communicate and see and sense with it. The reason being, when I was... Um, born, I had no sight at all. I was actually born um, totally blind. Um, and my mother was given the news that she had um, obviously a daughter who was going to be blind all her life. And then round about the age of five, um, I got a little bit of vision back. Not a great deal, but a little bit of vision. But up until five, all I could see was spirit. And my mum used to be so confused, she said, because she was told I was blind, yet I was seeing people, I was describing people. And she said, how can that be? She can't see people, so how is she describing all these people? Um, and it was only when I started coming out with names and stuff, especially from my mum's side of um, the family, that she realised, um, oh, more so my father, he was very spiritually minded. Um, and she realised, okay, she might not have physical sight, but she has something else. Um, so I have been communicating with spirit since as long as I can remember. Um, yes, past ones that have passed away. Um, I lost my mom in 2009 and my father in 1994 with cancer. 
um, and it was a devastating loss. However, I don't see it as a loss because I can still talk to them, which is a blessing in itself. Um, a lot of the times when I do um, my book readings or my free one card readings, then there's a lot of people that come through for people who choose a card and stuff. So yes, I can communicate on the other side. Yep. Yep, I can see different people's auras. I can also read people as well. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, I'm going to do my brows with this while I'm talking. Multitasking at its best. But I don't know if you remember the, the old saying or you've heard of the old saying that the eyes are the mirrors to the soul. Well, that same saying comes because that's exactly what our eyes do. I can... Um, read people just by looking in a, looking at a person's eye. So um, when my kids were growing up, they could never understand why every single time I could tell whether they were telling the truth or whether they were telling lies. Because I, I asked them, like, look at me and tell me you're telling me the truth. And of course, the minute that they looked at me, I could tell just by reading um, their aura, through their eye, um, whether they were telling the truth or whether they were telling lies. And then, of course, um, a lot of the times, my spirit guides would also confirm that they weren't telling the truth. So eventually, um, they stopped trying to pull the wool over their mom's eyes. So, yeah. I can see auras. Um, not all the time. If I want to see an aura, I basically just focus on that person and see the aura. Now this Wow Brow Tinted Gel, as you can see, fills in this, the one that I haven't done, and this, the one that I have done. It fills in my complete brow. Absolutely love this stuff. Well, a lot of people say it's amazing to have that gift, but at times um, it can be annoying when you're sitting and you're trying to chill out and you've got spirit talking in your ear. And sometimes you just have to say, you know what, this is my chill time. I know you want to communicate with me and all of that. So it has its pros and it has its cons. Um, and I remember one lady said to me, is there ever a time that you would not want to be, you know, is there ever a time that you would like to have physical sight as well as spiritual sight? And I said, not really, because how can I miss something that I haven't got? Um, I've found ways of um, dealing with my physical sight and finding ways around it, such as magnified mirrors for my makeup. Um, and I have a wonderful partner who, when I'm out and about, he, he's basically my, my eyes um, and ears, although I have acute hearing. You know they say when you lose one sen sense, i.e. your um, vision, you gain other senses. That's exactly right because um, my hearing is, I can hear a pin drop. Um, I remember one day I was walking at night. Um, I had a dog at the time with my friend. Pitch black. We were walking through this um, park. The street lights had gone out. And I said to her, we're going to have to pick up pace here because there's somebody behind us. And she said, no, there isn't. I can't hear anything. I said, oh, take it from me, there is somebody behind us. And she said, but you can't see, I can't see a thing and I've got perfect sight. So how do you know there's somebody behind us? And I said, I can hear them. Five minutes later, this guy walked right past us. And she just like, wow, how did you know that? And I said, because I can hear from long distances. And a lot of the time, 
when I'm out and about myself, that's exactly what I um, rely on, is my hearing. Yeah, so, um, you know, I, I can also sense people's energies. So if you've got somebody um, that's walking behind you, even if you can't hear them, you can sense them if you tune into that. Now, um, somebody asked me one time, how can you prove that there is energy? How can you prove that my energy can connect to somebody else's energy and their energy can connect to somebody else's energy? And one thing I asked this person to do was, I said, do you ever go on the bus? Or that you're standing in a queue somewhere. Maybe you're standing in a, a queue at the shops or whatever. And she said, yeah. And I said, okay. Next time you're on the bus, or you're standing in a queue, and there is somebody in front of you who is looking straight ahead and not at you, what I want you to do is stare directly at the back of the head, right in the centre of the back of the head. Just there. Don't use a harsh gaze, just a, a gentle gaze. And just there at the back of the head. And then tell me what happens. And she came back to me for a wee while later and she said, I did that. She said, I was actually on the bus and there was somebody sitting in front of me. So I just focused on the middle back of her head. Didn't say anything, just focused. She says, and then I pretty much crapped my pants because the person looked round. Right round at me. And I said, there you go. Even though that person was looking straight ahead, because you were using your eyes to gaze at the back of her head, you were connecting with that person's aura. And that person would sense, even without realising they had sensed it, but they would sense you were getting stared at. So they would look round, naturally. And that can be tested in queues, you can try it in shopping queues, you can try it on bars, you know, um, you can try it if you're a passenger in the back of a car and there's a passenger in the front and you can stare at that passenger and they will, they will turn round and look at you. Not so much from talking people talking to people on here unless it was like a double um, live like um, sometimes um, when I'm doing my demonstrations some of my Avira team because I have my own sort of Avira business and I have people who have joined my Avira business so I, I train them on um, how to get the best out of their makeup, their skincare, etc., etc. Um, and sometimes they'll jump on my makeup lives and ask questions while I'm on lives. Um, I can do photo readings where people send me photos and I will look at the photo, uh, providing that the person's eyes are um, visible on the photo. I will then um, read the photo and send them a written um, photo reading about that person um, and that can tell, you know, that, that person's um, photo can tell me everything about them, um, their personality and things. Yeah, definitely try it, you know. And another thing, if you're never sure whether your friends and family are telling the truth, Ask them to say, do you know what, look me in the eye and tell me that that's the gospel truth, right? Now, if they look at you eye to eye and don't take their gaze off you and then they tell you whatever it is they're going to tell you, chances are they're telling the truth. But, on the other hand, if they start to look at you and tell their story, and they kind of look away, or they look down, or they look to the side, or whatever, or they're just fiddling with their hands, chances are they're telling lies. Because a human being cannot look 
directly into another human's eyes and lie. They can't do it. Um, I went through 30 years um, of marriage, uh, ex-marriage, um, with a, a child abuser and narcissist. And a lot of times he would tell me a lot of things that I sensed was fake and I would say to him, look me in the eye and tell me. And in the 30 years we were married, he could never look me in the eyes and tell me. And I knew, I just knew he was lying. Um, I can do that now with my wonderful partner that I have now and he looks me in the eye every single time um, without fail. But yeah, if somebody is telling you something and you sense it or you think, is that true? Could that be true? Could it be fake? Chances are, um, if they're not looking at you and they're telling you that, chances are they're, they're, they're telling lies. Because um, it's just a natural thing that we can't look into a person's eyes and lie. We just can't do it. Um, so yeah, you can tell, um, but yeah, definitely try it, um, you know, it, it can be fun, um, doing it sometimes, you know, but just be prepared for that person turning around, <laughs> because the lady that, um, I, I spoke to about it, and she's like, I didn't expect her to turn around, or I didn't expect them to turn around sort of thing, she says, and they just turned around and looked at me, and I'm like, Oh, how did that happen? Um, so, so yeah. So I've done my brows. I'm going to use my Avira Luxe Mascara. I love this mascara. And that's another thing um, that I learned when I was starting out with makeup. Because I don't have any physical, well, very little physical vision. When I first started with makeup and I had my first mascara and I thought, I'm going to poke my bleeding eyes out with this because how on earth am I going to put mascara on if I can't see? And at that time I didn't have a mirror. And then there was one day I sat and I just did that with my finger. And what I realised was because I have no physical or very little physical vision, I have sensitive eyelashes. So just doing that, I can sense where the base and the tips of my lashes are, just with a finger. And I thought, well, if I can do that with a finger, I can do that with a mascara lash, right? So, um, I learned to put mascara on without a mirror. So, um, oh, I've got my mirror here. I'm going to use my mascara wand and I'm just going to sense where the edge of my lash is. I'm just going to apply my mascara. I never do the wiggle thing because I just sense where the tip and the base of my lashes and I go along with that so it's a skill that I learned to do without a mirror and as you can see I can do my mascara without a mirror which um, it's handy if I'm doing my makeup on the go without a mirror. Although if I'm usually going on holiday with my partner or whatever, I do take my magnifying mirror, but I don't have to use the mirror for my mascara because my, mas my lashes can sense where the mascara wand is. On my um, website is my web shop. It's all natural. Everything that I use um, with the Vera makeup is all absolutely natural. Um, even my skincare. We have a beautiful, beautiful um, Korean beauty um, 
five in one skincare which I use, which is our Egg Mellow Cream. Um, this is a five in one. It's um a eye pri it's an eye serum, a face serum. Um, it's a primer, so that it primes your skin before makeup. It's a moisturizer, um, all in one, and I love it. Um, it's just fantastic. We do have a trial kit. Uh, have I got it here? I think I have somewhere, yeah. We do have, at the minute, a little trial kit with the Korean beauty stuff, and it's too cool for school. £19, and it's the best £19 I've ever spent. I'll show you what's in it in a minute once I've finished this mascara. I don't want my mascara drying up, but yeah. There's lots of things. I've actually ordered a new tool that's coming out, which, for me, with no vision, is going to be absolutely mind-blowing it's called the um crease piece and if you've ever struggled to do a cut crease sort of on the mine and you know whether it's an oval a round or whatever um this crease piece toolkit is fantastic it just takes the guesswork out of it so i've ordered that and i can't wait to try it but yeah um we have skincare on there we have um, K-beauty stuff. K-beauty is Korean beauty. If you've ever seen Korean women, their skin is flawless. And that's because they use natural ingredients. And towards the end of this year, we teamed up with, um, or Avira teamed up with Korean beauty. And um, they now supply their products on my Avila shop which is fantastic because it means I can get all their um, natural beauty stuff but they use um, herbs they use natural products like egg zymes etc um, so now that I've done my mascara while that is drying I'm doing its thing let me check I haven't blotched it anywhere no I haven't um, so while that's drying uh, my best kit for a lot of my customers bought this it sold out recently but it's back in stock um, and it has a great starter kit with the Korean beauty skincare regime is one skincare regime in one box and what you get although I have used mine um, is a face mask it's an eczine face mask which has concentrated um, eczine cream which is the big one that I bought separately um, and you leave it on for about 15-20 minutes, take, it, take the mask off, it's a sheet mask, it has a little mesh in the mask, so you take the, ma the mesh off first, this is a mesh, so you would, take the, you would peel the mesh off and the mesh side is a face you would apply to, uh, the side you would face, apply to your face and then you, you take the mask off and you just rub in the excess um, lotion your skin will love you for it literally because um, it's a one-off mask but it's it's the bee's knees I love it um, and it drenches your skin in moisture and your skin's basically baby soft so you would get that in the kit you would get um, an Exzyme whipping foam um, cleanser now you might think that's a tiny size, but tiny, you only need a small piece because this stuff foams like crazy. And what this does is, it's made from egg whites. And egg whites um, is antibacterial. And it also protects the skin from germs, viruses, etc, etc. Um, so as a cleanser, it cleanses all the dirt from deep down in your skin. Um, what you do is you would put, you would wet your face. You would put just a pea size amount on your face and you will notice it will foam up. So it's like, you know, a cream mask sort of kind of goes into like bubbles and stuff. Massage it in, wait till all the sort of foam pops a little bit and then wash off, honestly your face is super super clean so I use this 
um, day and night. Then you have the miniature one of these. So you would do, do your cleanse, then you do your five in one. So that's got the primer in it as well. Again, this is made with um, the egg um, stuff as well. So again, it's protective of your skin. It's highly um, moisturizing. Uh, it's got collagen in here. And the, the thing is, it's um, fiber collagen. So it has a, a, let me show you with my big one. So this is the egg mellow cream that you would get in the kit. Now can you see how it's kind of like a stringy? That is the fibre collagen. Um, and the Korean Beauty is the only kind of um, cream. So you can play about with this and it would just kind of go kind of like stringy. Um, and you might think, oh, that would be horrible on your your skin. But it actually is nice and soothing. And it's that best collagen you can kind of get for your skin. So if you want to keep your skin looking younger for longer. But even though it's stringy like this, when you actually apply it, you can see it just goes into cream. And that's a little tiny bit. And look how far that goes absolutely goes forever and it smells beautiful it's got a nice lush smell to that i use that every morning and every night before i go to my bed um it's just it just is a lush but it just goes on clear um so you get the miniature one of that in the kit as well isn't it nice? It's it's just it's 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 a playable one. Um, my granddaughter, she's coming up for eighteen this month, um, and I bought her the kit, and I caught her just like playing with the fibers, and I'm like, you're supposed to put that on the face. She goes, I know, but it's fun, just pulling out the fibers. Um, but she loves it. She loves the egg, and then that's not all you get. You get a body butter as well. So when you come out of the shower, you can totally, um, again, this isn't um, as stringy as the moisturiser, but I love it all the same. Um, I've used a lot of this and I've still got loads left in here. Um, and again, that's all you need. That's, you know, you only need a little bit, but look how far this will go. It will literally go as far as you want it to go. It is just, um, and your skin will thank you for it because it just moisturizes. And um, it's got shea butter in here. It's got the goodness of the egg. Um, and this is the stuff that the Korean ladies use. Korean ladies are very spiritual. They, they won't use chemicals at all in any of their stuff so when i found out that um my avera shop was doing korean beauty i was like yes i need this in my life but yeah it does it just literally goes a long way so you're getting that the body butter you're getting the mask and you're getting the five in one moisturizer primer toner um and serum and you're getting the cleanser all for 20 pounds and I bought this kit about a month ago and I've still not used everything in it so for 20 pounds I'm like well it's less than 20 pounds it's only 19 pounds but I love it um, anyone that knows me well will know that if it's got chemicals in it I won't touch it um, mother earth has you know it is struggling just now with all the chemicals that are in the air in the environment etc and she doesn't really need any more to be honest that's 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 exactly the way to go um you know i've uh, we've recently got a new planter put in our garden and it's huge 
and I intend to grow my own herbs in there, my own plants, etc. So I'll have some lavender, I'll have some sage, white sage, which is cleansing. Um, I make my own medicines. Um, I love the Avila green tea uh, because it has fruity flavours and our Avila shield kills the coronavirus. That's all I'm saying. It kills the coronavirus. Obviously, governments won't tell us that because they want us to take vaccines. I've never worn, since the pandemic, I have never worn a mask. I will not do the vaccines just because um, I don't believe in putting chemicals anywhere near my body. That's just uh, not an option. Um, I use shield um, every day which is a herbal um, supplement that I put in a water bottle. It has different flavours. Well, well, Shield has a, like a more like a lemon water flavour. Um, but the green tea has, we have six flavours in the green tea, from strawberry um, and pineapple flavour. We have mocha flavour. Um, we have um, raspberry lemonade, sweet tea. Uh, pomegranate and mango and we also have orange passion so there's five different flavors in the green tea and you might be thinking well what's the difference between the avira green tea and the green tea that you get in health food shops that's supposed to be good to you for you the green tea that you get in the health food shops are made from the leaf of the green tree uh, the, the tea green tea plant now, in the green tea plant, all the crap of the plant goes to the leaf. So you're basically getting a watered down green tea, which um, will do a little bit of good, but not that great. Where we differ is that we use the green tea stem cell. So we use the green tea that's found in the actual stem of the plant that's where all the goodness is if you go to japan or china and you see that they've got tea, tea rooms everywhere they're drinking green tea made from the stem cells and that is quite a bitter tasting tea however at avira we've harvested that stem cell tea and we've added natural sweetener to give it a more fruity flavour. If you had a cup of health food green tea and a cup of our Avira green tea, you would need 29 to 30 odd cups of health food green tea to one sachet of our green tea. One sachet is 29 cups of health food stuff. Green tea has over 200 health benefits. It will um, stop bloating. It will um, boost collagen, etc. Um, it's good for the skin, the hair, the nails, the bones, protects the vital organs such as your heart, your lung, your liver, etc. Um, stops allergies. So there's a lot of chemicals around us. And before I um, started using Avera Green Tea, I would have allergies all year round because farmers spray their fields with chemicals. You've got the pollution of cars, you've got um, the pollution of um, factories, etc. in the air. And then when it rains, all the chemicals from those factories fall down as acid rain. And then it gets into the ground. Now farmers will tell you that the chemical um, pesticides that are in their, on their fields do not affect their crops or our food. Yeah, they would say that. But let's talk about 
how the seed grows, right? We take up seed, whether it's wheat, barley, whatever. We put it into the earth. That seed will take the goodness of the earth as it grows. So the earth's goodness helps that seed to grow into a healthy plant. Then the farmer comes along, plants his seeds, and then puts his chemical fertilizer on the ground to kill bugs, right, from destroying his crop. Where does that chemical fertilizer go? It goes into the earth. What does that seed feed on? The earth. So as that seed is growing, and taking in all of the nourishment of the earth is also taking in the chemicals of the earth, right? So when your wheat is fully grown, it looks healthy on the outside and it may have grown into a beautiful um, crop of um, wheat. But then it goes to the factories to be made into bread, to be made into cakes or whatever they want to make out of the wheat. The chemicals are still in that wheat. And then of course we buy bread from the store that's non-organic and we're putting the chemicals in our body. But the farmers won't tell you that. All the farmers are interested in is that the bugs do not eat their crops. right? Um, so, where possible, I will buy organic um, stuff rather than um, normal breads or, or whatever um, because of thought of putting chemicals in our bodies. But green tea helps to deplete those um, chemicals so it keeps us um, healthy all year round. Since I have been taking my green tea um, and my shield every day, and you can mix the two. Sometimes I put my green tea and shield in my water bottle together. That's another live, <laughs> but um, I will do, uh, I'll schedule a green tea demo um, this week um, for you all. Um, but I put my green tea, my shield, and I also have a collagen supplement to boost my collagen. And that's why at 57 years old, I have very few wrinkles now. And it's because of the combination of the natural skincare and the green tea. Um, and the collagen, etc. You know, we have only got one life. We have only got one body. And if we misuse it, you know, it's not like you buy a car, right? And the car breaks down and you can go and buy a new one, right? If we put the wrong fuel into our body and our body gets sick beyond repair, we can't go into a body garage and get a new body, right? We can't get in, go and buy a new, we only have one engine, right? This is it, this is us, this is our, this is our one engine. And you know, if you put diesel into a petrol engine, what happens? It freezes, it ain't going anywhere, right? And you, you're going to have to pump all of the diesel and out and that's very costly, etc. And then you can put the right fuel in. Same with our bodies. Put in the wrong fuel and you're going to find sickness, etc. And many people will say to me, how can you walk along or, or among people who have got COVID? You've never had a vaccine, you don't wear masks, and yet you don't get COVID. It's because I'm very careful and very particular about what I put in my body. So I will put antiviral um, supplements such as my shield. Shield has the same little, if you take the coronavirus and put it under a microscope you'll see it has it's like a little round ball with little spikes all the way around the ball and those little spikes grab onto another one grab onto another one and grab onto another one and the coronavirus spreads well with shield 
the shield compound is made very similar. So it has that, you put the shield, um, which has green tea, etc. Uh, in there and vitamins and minerals. And you put, you know, you look at that under a microscope, it has the very same pinholes. So it builds up into a protective structure. And then the virus comes along and it just bats out of the field. It won't, the virus won't attack the immune system. It builds our immune system. Um, a lot of people will say to me, well, why don't you wear a mask? A lot of people don't realise when you breathe in and out, which you'll see on my meditation, the proper way of breathing is breathing in through your nose to bring in all the oxygen. And as you bring in the um, breath through the nose, you fill up your tummy. So when you're breathing in, your tummy should be expanding like a balloon. If it's not, you're not breathing deep enough into the stomach. A lot of people just breathe into the chest. The proper way of breathing is breathe in, right down to the tummy, and then breathe out through the mouth and pull the tummy in as you do that. Now, when you try that a few times, you'll find that your body completely relaxes. And there's a reason we have um, a nose and a mouth, right? Although the mouth is for eating as well. But the mouth plays a vital part in the breath as well. Because we're breathing in oxygen, but we're breathing out carbon monoxide. Now, if you closed your mouth and you breathe in fresh air, through the nose and you breathe out fresh air through the, the nose, you're breathing in oxygen and you're breathing out carbon monoxide, right? So basically you're polluting the nose. You want to avoid that, so we breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. So oxygen goes in here, carbon monoxide and all the junk that our body doesn't need goes out here uh, and you actually um, feel more relaxed um, and if you're doing meditation that's the best breathing um, exercise to do. A lot of people breathe in and pull their tummy in and breathe out and pull their tummy out, it's the opposite. Yes, I certainly can. It is, isn't it? You know, a lot of people don't know that. They go into these health food shops thinking that they are getting the best out of their green tea. And they're actually getting the crap out of the green tea. You know, um, I think I have one of my green... I'll show you one of my green teas. Excuse my parrots, we have two of African grey parrots. So this is a bottle of water. I'm just going to show you how easy our green tea is. So what I would do is a 500 ml bottle of water. And then I, I take a little bit out of it. Like so. And then this is our green tea. Now we have two types of green tea. Um, we have... Green, our normal green tea, which is 29 cups of your crappy health food green teas, comes in a little pixie stick. Um, so you have 29 cups out in, in one green tea on this. 
This flavour is strawberry and pineapple. But we have five other flavours in it. So, um, what if you're struggling with weight loss? Well, we have another green tea, which has three times this green tea in it. Three times this, right? So that's 29 plus 29 plus 29, and it's called our Ignite. And what this does is, especially when you get to my age, I need this stuff, because when you get to 40s, 50s, your metabolism speed slows down. And we store a lot of fat on our tummy, our hips, our thighs, etc. Right? And it doesn't matter what diet we use, we can't shift that um, stored fat. Because this has, because our Ignite has three times green tea, it's a thermogenic. What does that mean? With the green tea, it boosts our metabolism, it gives us extra energy. So we have more energy. When we're having more energy, the body burns all the fats from our food. But then it gets hungry for more. Can't find any more from the food that we've eaten because 9 out of 10 times we're probably on a diet, right? So it has to look somewhere else. So it starts munching on our stored fats. So um, these two um, are... are best sellers green tea and ignite are two of our best um sellers this this one is our top seller now you get 60 sachets um for i think it's around about 60 pounds but if you put in a monthly subscription it works out a lot cheaper and you can cancel the subscription anytime um Right now, with the green teas, you're also getting a free water bottle, um, which I think is, in fact, any of our supplements, whether it's green tea, shield, collagen, whether it's the Ignite, um, you get a free water bottle if you subscribe to it. I put in a subscription because I want to get cheaper green tea, right? Two, you can take one to two green teas every day, right? So... You're getting 60 in a, in a month supply. So if you took one green tea every day, you would get two months out of your subscription. That's less than a pound a day for your green tea. Um, same with our Ignite, because it's a stronger one, you get 30 in a pack, which is one uh, a day for a month. So your Ignite would last you a month. What I tend to do is, I have my Ignite in the morning because I want to burn off all the fat during the day and I have my green tea at night. That way my green tea lasts me two months and my Ignite lasts me a month. Um, for me, um, it's worth a pound a day or two pound a day if you're using both for good health. I would rather use that than go into a crappy um, health food shop and buy green tea um, in there for like two pound or whatever else and get no value whatsoever out of it oh we have two african greys rocky and rio um rocky's about 40 years old we think because he was my mom's bird before my mom passed and rio's about 20 or so um so we don't know because my mom got them second hand uh, how old they actually are, but uh, one of them talks and one of them doesn't. Um, the little baby one, Leo, used to talk, um, but when I lived with my ex-abuser, um, he didn't like the parrots, and I, I uh, feel that he, when I was working back then, um, when I was out at work, I think he did something to the parrot, and it's never spoke. I think he's kind of like tried to strangle the poor thing, and it's never spoken since. But yeah, um, I'm hoping one day Rio will find his, his voice again and start talking. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I left my abusive ex behind. Um, and now I um, am 
an advocate for women and men and children that go through abuse. It is. I, you know, it's one of my bugbears is cruelty to animals. I just, I flip a lid. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna flip my switch, then be cruel to an animal because let me tell you, I will shoot you down every time. Um, I have three beautiful grandchildren um, who I no longer see because when I left my ex, I lost the right to see my grandchildren. They they refused um, to let me see my grandkids. Why? Because I knew they were getting abused by um, my ex's family. So um, I no longer see my grandkids, but I'm a believer in karma. What goes around comes around. But yeah. So how to make the green tea? I take my green tea. It has a little um, tear off strip here. So I just tear it off. And I just open up the green tea. As I said, this one is strawberry and pineapple flavour. And it does, it tastes, oh, it tastes amazing. Um, and then you just take your water bottle, take your green tea, pop it in. It's just a, a powder. I don't like to waste anything. This tastes like a sherbet dab. Delish. So I usually just like blow in and suck out the whole goodness out of the the tube. Then I put the lid back on my bottle, like so, and then I give it a good shake. And that's my green tea. Strawberry and pineapple. It's it tastes a bit like um fruit juice, you know, like um diluting juice it's really really tasty but it has 29 cups of um you know it's equivalent to 29 cups of your green tea that you get in the health food but we use the strong stuff we use the the goodness of it we don't use any of the leaf because that's where the crap is stored health foods tend to like to do things on the cheap um so they'll use the leaf part whereas Ours is a little bit more expensive, yes, but you know what, in my opinion, you get what you pay for. And that tastes so bloody good. I love my green tea, absolutely love it. It does, it's honestly, it's nice. It's some best taste. I had a friend, um, Lucy, and... Uh, she suffered from bloating, she was tired all the time, she was lethargic. In fact, Lucy's on our, our um, group. Um, Lu Lucy Lou Yates. Um, and uh, she's also on Instagram as well. But um, I sent her a sample because she was so tired, she was so lethargic, um, she was bloating. Now she just loves it. She subscribes every... Um, months to a green tea and she's like I can't believe how bloody good this tastes um, it's not like I mean she's tried if anybody has tried and I have the health food green teas I'm not kidding they taste like shit <laughs> they do I'm sorry but they do they taste like shit and that's probably because there's a lot of crap in there but they're not very nice to drink um, and when I found out what they actually make their green tea from, I'm like, nah, I'll just not bother. Um, and I used to drink a lot of that crappy green tea. And I would get colds, I would get viruses, I would be ill all the time, I'd still have my allergies, etc. And I would still bloat. Now I don't bloat, it's good for the, the gut health as well. Um, I can't remember the last time I had a cold. Um, and it doesn't bother me going out amongst the community that have maybe got COVID because I drink my shield, which is a COVID virus fighter. But green tea also fights viruses as well. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Lovely to see you. We have a new member, says 
um, says this is Wendy. Um, she's uh, also an advocate. She loves the Avera green tea. We were just talking about the goodness of green tea. I can't do without my green tea. Um, I will compromise a lot of things in life, but I won't compromise on my green tea. I just think penny for penny is worth everything. So, yeah. But I will definitely send you the link to my shop. It's also, I think, the my website, which has my shop link on it, um, is on my Instagram bio as well. It's the milkshake one, but um, I will send you the direct link to the shop. Um, we've got loads of stuff on there. Um, I've just ordered some new lashes, uh, I, uh, which are called Believe in Yourself. Um, I can't wait till they come. Oh, no problem. Oh, you drink it? Well, <laughs> cheers, Wendy. I've just made up a bottle of green, my green tea. Um, what flavour have you got? I've got strawberry and... Is it strawberry? Yes, yeah, strawberry and pineapple. I'm supping up strawberry and pineapple as we speak. So, yeah. So, talking about lashes, now that I've done my mascara which is well and truly dried i'm going to use our avira i am a survivor lashes i love that they're in a pink box we, we brought these out uh in the was it the summer wendy or the autumn i can't remember now it's that long ago um for breast cancer awareness which is why they're in the pink box rather than our black box um and they come with the magnetic liner that you see here and they come with the lashes these lashes they say last 30 uses i've had these all summer um and all autumn and i've still got them and um, they're one of my favorite uh, lashes and they last forever they are windproof and sweatproof so they once they're on they stay on Oh, you got the oh I love pomegranate and mango I think I've still got some of my pomegranate and mango so with the liner I give it a good shake because this has got the magnetic particles in it and our lashes have got uh, these ones I believe are an 11 magnet are they 11 I think these ones are 11 and um, so they have 11 little magnets on there that will stick to the liner so you want to make sure that you Give your liner a good shake now what i tend to do when i take the liner brush out is i will sort of wipe off the excess so that you don't get that liner dripping everywhere i am going to use my magnified mirror because i need to be very accurate for this so i'm just going to take my liner and i start from the inside to the outside corner and I put my liner kind of sideways and I just kind of just very slowly take it from one side. Now I look down because looking down you can see better on the line. If you look straight ahead it's hard to get that straight line. So always look down and then you're just going to take the liner along the lash line. Just swiping it from side to side. And looking down, I can see exactly where that lash line is. Now you can do a thick line, you can do a thin line, it doesn't really matter. So that is my liner. And then what I tend to do is I use either this, to dry it a little bit um, I try and keep my eye shut or I use my Avira um, airbrush fan which is this our airbrushes foundation 
is an airbrush foundation which is portable um, and you basically put the it comes with um, cleanser foundation a charger in there um, but for quickness I'm going to use my airbrush you would put the with the airbrush you would put the foundation in here um, and then you would um, use you put the foundation in pop on the lid and then you would mix it and then this cold air comes out of here and you basically just spray on your foundation no brushes needed but I use the cold air for drying my liner it's just like a mini fan as well so it has many many uses I love my airbrush so if you're wanting an airbrushed look foundation the airbrush system is fantastic you get um, two foundations in there uh, you get the airbrush unit, a charger and a cleanser and either a blush or a bronzer of your choice. So that is quick and easy to dry my liner. So I'm going to do my other eye. Ah, uh, it was a fall season. Yeah, I knew it was kind of, I wasn't sure whether it was summer or fall. But yeah, I love fall season. So which is season? Halloween or Samhain as we call it. So I'm going to um, do my other eye. So again, I'm going to look down and I'm just going to take my liner and just draw along the lash line. Just following as close to the lash line as you can get. And honestly, um, you know, if, if you struggle with vision like I do, use a magnified mirror and you can get the perfect um, liner. Oh, Halloween, Samhain, we call it Samhain. Uh, it's our favourite, it's one of my favourite seasons. And so when is the witch's new year? So um, we do a lot of celebrations. We decorate our altars. I'm just drying off my liner. We decorate our altar. Um, we do lots of things. I cut the pumpkins and carve the pumpkins and put a candle in it and we light our candles oh i just love it love 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 so when it's the best time of the year so now that that's dry you can get away with doing one coat but i like two yep it's all one word Oh yeah, got to decorate the house on Samhain, yep. It's spelt Samhain, but it's pronounced Samhain. We call it Samhain. And it's the witch's new year. So um, I usually wish my witchy sisters a happy Samhain, or happy new year, basically. Um, so um, again, I'm just going to... Make sure I've got my lashes down a little bit. And I'm going to take my liner and just draw a second line. I always do two coats because I always want to make sure that my lashes attach to the liner. So I always do two coats. I always do an, I'm an extra girl. I have to have that, I have to have extra. One coat, just don't do it for me. I need to, I'm an extra girl. Oh, 
Oh, you're welcome. Come on. This is saved anyway. It's saved here and it's also saved onto my YouTube. But I will um, send you that link. Thank you. <laughs> you can replay this anytime for the names, but yeah. Um, I don't have any foundation on. All I've got is my skincare, my egg skincare. That's it. My skin's so good, I don't need to put my foundation on. So, but yeah, don't work too hard. And thank you so much for joining. So glad you came in for the chat today. I'm just wafting this just for quickness. You take care as well. Love and bright blessings to you. Okay, so I'm just going to do my other eye eye. And I'm just going to do my other line. I haven't put lashes on for ages. But I made a promise to myself that... Um, I'm going to start wearing my lashes again. I have missed wearing my lashes. Absolutely missed wearing them. They're just so comfy to wear. Love them. So, uh, let me just dry this last eye. Now, all the products that I'm using for my makeup are on my Avera shop. Every one of them, the lashes, the wow brow, the mascara, which is the Lux mascara. I don't use any other makeup bar, Avira. I'm very fussy that way. I like my Avira makeup. I've tried lots of brands and no other brand, in my opinion, comes close to the Avira. So... And I love that it's all natural. So, while I'm um, waiting for my liner to dry, I'm going to do some pink shimmer. So we have our um, shimmers. And I should have my rose. Here we go. So this is our rose sparkle shimmer. And I love wearing this as an eyeshadow. So simple to use especially if I'm not going out anywhere so I just take a little bit of this just comes in a little brush you can use our shimmers on your eyes your cheeks for a little bit of blusher you can use it you can kind of put it on your body and just shimmer it you can add spread it around and add a little bit of shimmer to your skin as well but for this demo, I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. Sometimes I put the shimmer on first before I do my liner, but today I'm doing it back to front. It doesn't really matter. Um, just make sure you don't go over the liner. So I'm just going to take the shimmer and I'm just going to do it above that liner. And along top of the cut crease again I'm just going to dry it so that it doesn't rub off when I open my eye just give it a little dry can you see how shimmery that is I love 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 the pink shimmers so I'm going to do the other eye hi eye And I'm just going to fill in just above my liner, making sure that I don't get my liner because I need the liner. Like so. And as you can see, it just adds a nice little shimmer to the eyes. Look at that. How beautiful is that shimmer? I love the Rose Sparkle shimmers. 
I love all our shimmers. We have so many shimmers. It's amazing. So let's just... Um, I will put the link to my Avila shop above this. In fact, I'll, I'll put my website because my website has my link on there for anyone that wants any of this makeup. The best makeup around. Okay, so now that I've done that. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can add Wendy. Let's hopefully this works with Wendy joining me, joining me on camera. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm hanging. We have had a good chat today. This I know. A good live. I know, I know. Live. We have, Seth has just joined. Um, she was on, um, seen an ad on my Instagram and jumped from Instagram to here. So. Cool. Fab. So, yeah. I, just, I haven't done my makeup in like forever and I'm like, I need to get back to my eyes. Yeah, yeah. I just got done with my makeup, so. Yeah, and I've ordered the um, new ones, the new lashes, the I, I believe in yourself. Man, I can't wait for them. Have you got them yet? No. What have you got? I got Unstoppable on. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Pleasure Unstoppable, girl. I'm yeah, my, it helps with I'm the company. My... It's the company I keep. Yeah. I love, I love our Avena um, community. Yeah. That shimmer. That I know. Shimmer. I know. I love our shimmers. Are you doing the rosemary? You, know, you know me, girl, if I'm not shimmering and shining, I ain't happy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would put shimmer everywhere. You would. If it's glitter, it's going to go. Yep. It, it, it has, isn't it? It's just, it's, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of the comments here. So I can see. I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just, you know, getting ready for the week. Yep. But yeah, um, I keep the comments. I used to just drag the comments away and then kind of, but. Yeah, like, it's, they're, not, they're not letting me drag it. So, I don't know. Yeah. Facebook, yeah, need, needs to quit. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you need to quit Facebook. the crap. Facebook needs to go. We don't want it. So I'm going to take my um, I Am a Survivor blush, give it a wiggle, I always give it a little wiggle, give it a little wiggle. I love you. Gotta give, gotta give it a wiggle. Um, You're wiggling, so, by the way. For all of our newbies here, when you get the our lashes and you open them up, you will see that the lashes smile. They are happy lashes, but when you're putting them on, you want them to frown. That's right. So that you know that when they're frowning, this eye goes here, this eye goes here. Because there's a left and a right. You don't want to be putting the wrong one. Um, Absolutely. You're always sure that your lash box is upside down, facing you, 
so that you know that that one goes there, that one goes there. Um, and then I just, you can use tweezers, but I'm a hands-on girl. I don't do tweezers. I can't handle the tweezers. Like I, I end up poking my hand out. Not a good thing. Yeah, I can't use them. Um, so, no, 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 no. So I take, I just hold the, the center of my lash and then I just kind of, the, the, the action you need is kind of like take that and twist. Yeah. So you're kind of twisting, you know, so yeah. you're kind of taking your lash down and sitting right on the lash line. You can adjust it however you want to adjust it. And then you're just going to tap, tap, tap. Hey, did you order Krispies? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. Did you? Yes, I did. Yay. Yes, I was I like, did. I was like, as soon as the live finished, yeah. I was like, I know. That's how, that's how I was. I was I was literally at work and I just was like boom, <laughs> like I am yeah. not losing out on that opportunity. I, did you get the brushes? No, no. I ordered the brushes because I thought, oh, the brushes look nice as yeah. well. I'm kind of I'm but kind of like limiting my purchases for a while. I I. You know my long-term goals. I've I've got brushes here, so, but you know, gotta make my goals happen. Yep. So that is look the eye on the. You. Look at you! How pretty you look. So when you see, you might think, well, what difference does the lash make? Well, look at that eye compared to yeah. that eye. Bam! Big big difference. Yeah. And look, at it. if if these two old bats can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> I'm like, we both have magnetic mirrors and the glasses and stuff. And we're like, look, if we could put lashes on, anybody can put lashes on. Because remember, remember a while back when I was like, oh, Catherine, I can't do lashes. Oh, I can't do lashes. Watcha! <laughs> <laughs> I did that. The first time I did lashes, I didn't have my magnified mirror. And I, I, the first lash that I got was the I am a Vera because I, yeah. I won, we earned them with our first commission and stuff. And they arrived and I'm like, okay, <laughs> what the do I do with these? And I thought, this is going to be fun. And Tracy had said to me, just practice, just practice, you'll get it. Yeah. Well, I went in the ordinary mirror and I got my liner. And let me tell you, I look like the dad Pedro gone wrong. You know, I'm like, <laughs> and then I opened my eyes to see if I got it right. And the bloody thing stuck to my eyelid. And I'm pulling it down and I've got liner up in my thought, I can't do this. And yeah. I remember uh, messaging Satan and saying, Anyone want to be in the lashes? Because I can't do this. This ain't happening, you know. I'm like, I was getting so frustrated. I wanted to chuck them out the window, and I thought. But then I thought, there's got to be a way, right? That you know, where there's a will, there's a way. So I went on Amazon, and I thought they've got to have a magnified mirror here somewhere. So I found uh, a twenty times magnified yeah. mirror, and it was the best thing that I could ever or yeah. purchase because I can put my my liner on like a boss. So even if you are um you know visually restricted in any way, yeah. don't give up on the fact that you yeah. don't tell you you cannot wear these lashes. No, because remember then I asked you, I said what what magnifying you know, and you said twenty times I went on Amazon, got my mirror and you know now it's just and it takes some time getting used to because your eye is like you're seeing your eye like 
you know, but you know, just play around with it. <laughs> you know, right? But you know, we're just, you know, that's the that's the joy of, of makeup. Whether you get your makeup from, you know, Catherine or I or, or anything like that, it comes off and it comes on. And yeah. you just got you, my I got a new haircut. You see? Okay. I love. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That, that, that absolutely with your makeup and that hair, it frames the face beautifully. Yeah. You know me, because my daughter's like. Well, they got me a gift certificate for the hair salon that they go to because it's one of Katie's friends. And uh -huh. so they got me the gift certificate and I was like, you know, oh, shit. So I called them and I said, I'll, I'll just make an appointment and go there. And my oldest daughter goes, Mom, whatever you do, don't get your head shaved. Well, <laughs> you just told me to do it. <laughs> I'm like, don't tell a witch, don't do it. Nope. No, definitely not. No. Um, yeah, so it's it you know what? It it almost looks like Olga's, but like right here is longer. So I, I can't do the quill. Uh uh, no. No. Olga, Olga Olga pulls it off and she, you know, she's she's the quill queen clean, but so but you know, it took a couple of times used to. You're you are in the shower, you're going like, wait a minute. <laughs> I have no hair. <laughs> because I am using the pink shimmer, I'm going to go with dusty pink lip stain. Ooh, I know, I'm wearing rosewood. Rosewood. Uh, I haven't got that one yet, the rosewood. Oh, you need to. It's, uh, well, look at, you can see the, it's almost like a pinkish apple. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So one. I'm going to my um dusty pink lip stain now this lip stain is phenomenal because it stays put for eight hours so i'm just gonna i love my dusty pink yeah i gotta get some more lip stains i got what i got warm chai in the lip stain yeah so i figured you know like for right now you know I'm not going to buy every product that we have, but just if you buy one, they kind of get the the idea. You know, this is yeah. the concept of the stains. They do have them in different colors. So, but I want I want everything. Damn it! <laughs> I just want everything. Hey. I would love I would love to buy absolutely everything oh, on right. the other side. Look what I, I got. literally. And what else do I get? So I got Desert Sand Concealer. That's my day, Desert Sand. Love yeah, it. Yeah, I love it. So, and that's what I got on right now. It's just as, so. So there. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I never used to be. Mm -mm. Uh, we were never so. like this. We were never. I mean, I wore makeup. You, you know, I wore makeup more than probably than you did at the time. But we were just like, nah, that's not us. Even with when we were with all oh, that 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 other company. That what was that company? Oh, okay. Oh, that coming. Oh, Acti Labs. That's Urban Retreat now. That can't seem to get their crap together. Oh, that company. Yes, that company. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We never the makeup. What? Look at that. That eyeshadow palette that I got. I had to work. Like, you know, I just I was like, I'm not seeing. I had, to chisel, I had to literally take a, a a chisel and chisel it to get yeah. 
you know, and then when we got the Avera, I was like, what? Because this is, I got, I got Tango and Paradise in on right now. This is my, I love the Tango and Paradise. I got all three and let me tell you, this is my go-to. Tango and Paradise is my go-to. I love my, I, I probably, they'll come out with more color and then I'll be like, oh. But for right now, Tango in Paradise is my is my go to. I think I have all three. I, I don't really have a favorite. <laughs> I like some of the I like some of the bright. Robin's egg blue. I never thought yeah. I would pull that. I think I gotta play around with it. Tracy's on. Yeah, I know. I said hi to Tracy. Hi baby. How are you doing, beautiful? It would be cool if we could three-way video. Yeah. Yeah, it would. She just said hello. So. Yay. We, we are sipping our green tea. I got my strawberry and pineapple. Pomegranate mango. <laughs> It's a green tea we party. Are, we are chugging the green tea today. I need it. Sunday is a lazy day for me, so I need my energy boost. I know. I did a story. I just did a story, and I'm going to go live in a little bit. Um, talk about the too cool, too cool school, and some other stuff. So, but. I got I. I love the two cool to school so much that I have to get the big one. I did, you know what? I used it uh, the other night and I was like, whoa, whoa, this is awesome. I wish they sold the, and maybe they will, and maybe they do, I don't know, the body butter in a bigger, because I could see me going through that like in a heartbeat. Casey. Get on the case. We need the butter in the big tub. Well, Chris, Chris will be the one because he's the context in, in what is it, Korea? So, yeah. they're like, Chris, bigger, bigger, bigger. We need the body, we need the body butter. I love the, the foaming cleanser as well. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, I just a little bit and I was like, what? I've already messaged him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Thank God our leader's on top of things because holy we, 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 we need to give me a minute. I'm just gonna rescue my baby pilot because Rocky's deciding to chomp his head off. Not okay. a good idea. So while she's doing that, <laughs> let me talk what can I talk about? Oh, the contour. You guys want to talk about contour. Look at this. This is our contour. And this is what I got on here. So that's our contour. And um oh, there she's back. I was I was giving it like, like she just left me. I'm like, okay, we'll talk about contour. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, what the hell do I do? I'm like contour. <laughs> Are they okay? Is Rocky? Rocky in a mood today? Yeah, he, he woke up in a strop, literally in a strop. So poor Leo. And, and normally when he's, I mean, he needs some green tea in his life, but honestly, he needs. Give him some sage tea. He'll, he'll hate you forever. <laughs> he already hates me forever. So. <laughs> <laughs> sage tea. Oh my God. <laughs> right there with Rocky. Rocky. Rocky is a funny bird because if it's a rainy day, he's in a really good mood. But today it's blue skies and sunshine and he's like a bear with a sore head. And it's <laughs> like, when he's like that, he kind of just looks at Rio one day and says, I'm going to have a bite at you. And he just flies over and bites <laughs> poor Rio. Rio's like, I ain't shit to you. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing to you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. God. 
portfolio must absolutely hate it when Rocky's in a mood. He's probably saying, yep, yeah, my butt's going to get it today. <laughs> now, can you put a divider in their cage? Like when you know it's, he's going to be in a mood, can you put a divider? Not, not really. No. Um, no, because it's too big. It's like we have like the equivalent to a parrot hotel. <laughs> so it's like it's about it's about a seven foot high cage. Yeah. So, so it has like a top layer and a bottom and a middle layer sort of thing. So um, a lot of the times, Rio can go down to the bottom of the cage when he when Rocky's too crabbit just to stay out of his way. Um, but right now he's he's um, there was a, a few days ago he fell off his foot poor little thing oh. and he I think he hurt his um, side as well as his little claw a little bit. Oh. It's it's getting better now, but he's a little bit slower on his feet when he's when he's kind of climbing down the cage. So um, it's a little bit harder for him to avoid Rocky than Rocky's in Right. Right. You know what I was thinking today? I took I was taking a shower. And I'm like, I wonder what Catherine would do if I just packed up my shit and moved. <laughs> Say, I'm moving in. By the way, I'm moving in. I wonder what she'd yeah. do. <laughs> I'm like, say, come on. I just you know, you you get those things where it's just says, I just wanna go and start somewhere new. I don't care if I'm dead ass broke. I just wanna, you know. Just new environment, new scenery, new opportunity. I just, I just want that. And then it's like, no, you gotta be the sensible thing. You gotta be the adult thing, because that's not right. Catherine would probably say, you know, yeah, you can stay for a couple of days, and then you need to get the fuck out. And then, <laughs> no, come on over anytime. I know. Don't God, don't tell me. It's only eighteen hundred bucks. I could probably save it up in a heartbeat if I really wanted to. But you know you can't you can't run from your problems. You can't you can't you can't run from your mindset. You can't run from you know just because you're having a bad day or you know in my case it, you know it takes everything for me to go to work again. Uh, you know I thought quitting that one place, but it's just you know I don't know I don't know I'm still looking I'm still looking something's gonna get me to you know. It, and it's just something to get me to the point where I can I can literally say, you know what, I'm ready to go to Florida. So yeah. we'll get there. We'll get there. Right now, just keep writing down your intentions and read them out every day. Yep. Yep. I light when, you know, I, I get my seven seven hour candles and when when um but a good one to do is when we were in our previous house and we had some really horrific neighbors, um, um, we knew we, we needed to get out. So what I did was um, when we, we, we searched the, the house market and we seen this place and I drew a picture of the house and I put a pentagram do a pentagram over the house and I said um, this is the house that is uh, that will set us free new house new house comes to me as I will it so most it be so I wrote that over the top I rolled it up and I put it in one of these little um, I don't know what you call them over there but it's like the glass jars with the lid uh -huh. So I put I put that in the glass jar with a lid with a little bit of sage, and then on the lid I drew a little pentagram, and I put a little um, pillar candle on the top of the lid. Okay. And ev and every day I would light that candle for about an hour. And I would visualize that house and I would say that saying every single day. And when we got the viewing for the house, there was about um, 26 people in for the house initially. He cut it down to six. And 
uh, we were one of the six. And when we were viewing the house, um, Mal's heart sank because there was somebody coming out when we were going in, and then when we were coming out, there was somebody else going in. And Mal said, we ain't going to get there. Mm -mm, no way. You know, um, it's a two-bedroom, we're only a single couple, blah, blah, blah. They're going to give it to family. And he was just so negative about it. Um, and I stayed positive. And even when I was viewing that, when we came into the house, the hall was uh, violet. It was a violet color. And I went, no, this is our house. And I'm not giving up on this. Um, so I went straight back home. I drew a card. And the card had a couple standing outside the new house, new home, new beginning. And I kept that card next to the jar with the candle in it. And I still continue to do my affirmation every day, and I would still light that candle. Well, um, two days after the viewing, we got the phone call, the house is yours if you want it. Mouth was like, poof, mind blown. He's getting boxes and putting the games in, like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So whatever it is that you're looking for, whether it's Disney, whether it's a new house, whether it's a new, a new country, visualize it, draw it, get it in a jar with a little bit of sage, and light your candle and say the affirmation every single day till you get it. All right. <laughs> See, you always learn something from your crone. You always do. I love you. Yeah. I love you too. But don't be surprised no, if I don't come over. There was Mouth saying all the odds are against us. Yeah. They're, they're coming out of this house with kids in their arms. Yeah. They're going to give it to a family with kids. They're not going to give it to a single couple. They're not going to do that. But I couldn't give up on what I wanted. Okay. We manifest in this life what we want to manifest. We have the power within us to have whatever we want. Uh, another um, true story I'm going to tell you. Um, I overestimated my bank account one time and we went into a shop and we've all done it sometimes we've gone mm -hmm. into a shop and the card of decline because you've emptied the bank account and not realized you spent the last time whatever so you know we had to put the food back and everything and we looked at each other and we thought how on earth are we going to survive the next two three weeks with no food and you know i went home and i said universe we're in a bit of a drop here we need some help you know we need a little bit of finance i'm not asking for hundreds i'm not asking for thousands all i'm asking for is enough money enough extra income coming from somewhere where we can put food on the table for the next two weeks that's all i'm asking the universe for and we thought you know what we've got enough food for a couple of days in the fridge and the freezer. We're okay for the next couple of days and we'll see how we, we go for that. Let's just go for a walk, clear our heads, etc. So we went into the woods and we went in the same way as we came out. And there's a crossroads in the woods that we go and you, you get to the crossroads and you can either go left, right or straight on. So we choose our path. So we told, I said, you know what? We're going to choose the right path and we'll go the right path and we'll come back out. So we chose the right path and we we're going up the right path and we came back to the crossroads. And as we were um, going to the left, come out of the woods again, on the very same path that we first walked up, Mouth's sharp eyes spotted what looked like a rolled up 10 pound note on the path and he quickly scooped it up put it in his pocket and he said i think there's maybe two or three ten pound notes in here but we'll wait till we get home and see what's in there 
So he went home, and I said, well, even if it's £20, £30, you going to buy yeah. us a couple of meals, we're going to be fine. He went home, and he took it out of his pocket, and he could not believe it. He counted out £200, tightly wrapped up in this little bundle. Oh, my gosh. What were the chances of finding £200, not even I mean, in a wallet, just lying in the middle right. of a path? Right, because if it's in a wallet, you got to do the right thing. You know, you got to do yeah. the right thing. But, hey, if, who are you going to ask? You're in the middle of nowhere, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, you move. know, if you put it on social media, everybody in the adults going to say, oh, yeah, I dropped 200 pounds. That's my 200 pounds. Yeah. Plus, you know, let's face it, who, who takes 200 pounds? That's just wrapped up in a bundle into the woods with them, right? Unless um, they're dealing sort of drugs and stuff like that. A lot of our drug dealers, kind of go into yeah, you know. And I, feel, you know, what a drug dealer probably drops it because they deal with cash, you know. Um, and if a drug dealer drops it, then it's the universe's way of saying, "Well, her need is better than your drug need." Exactly. Exactly. You know, and that, 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 you know, that bought us enough food for our next table. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Had I not asked the universe to just give us enough to do a so table, we would never have found money. No, no. no. I will have you to. Know, I'll have to do those two things. Oh my God, I'm getting tired. <sighs> yeah. yeah, but definitely anything that you want in this life, ask the universe for. Now, no, could you put, can you put more than one thing in the jar? Yes. Okay. Or you could have, separate, or if you want, you can have separate jars with separate affirmations. Cool. So you could have a jar for a new house. You could have a job for maybe a little bit of extra finances to get to your goals. I need, I need, universe, I need a little bit of money, just enough to get me to Disney World. Can you please give me that? And then do your own affirmation for the Disney. So you could have a Disney job, you could have a new house job, you could have a new job job with different affirmations, different candles. I will have to do that this week. Oh my God, I got even tired. And more importantly, when you're saying your affirmations, believe it. Yeah. You know, it doesn't work. Always, you know, oh, I always end with, as I will, it's so will it be. This is what I'm asking you for, the universe, so give it to me. And then, of course, when you do receive it, you obviously thank the universe for its blessings and right. being able to get that. Always remember to, to thank the universe, but a lot of people will, you know, will say to me, um, "How do I get this? Or how can I get this? Or how can I manifest my dreams?" Ask for it. Everything is energy. Our thoughts, our wishes, our um, actions. You know. Um, so, you know. If you're, if you're going to be a bully, guess what? Somewhere along the line, you're going to get a bigger bully coming down on you like a ton of bricks. Right. And it's going to give you that wake-up call about all the things that you've done to other people as a bully. And it might not happen today. It might not happen next year. It might not happen whenever. But I can guarantee you it's going to happen because what we put out is going to come back to us tenfold. So when you work with love, light, and wanting to help everyone, guess what? It comes back. Yes. Yes, it does. It's like the other night. I, mean, I literally laid in bed, and it was about 9.30, and I was just like, God, I don't want to go to work. I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And I laid in bed, and I, I said, you know what? 
you and I are going to have a discussion. And I said, okay, universe, guides and guides. And I called out everybody. I said, I, I need some help. I need some help. Just getting through the day, making it through the eight hours, you know, giving me the, the strength to, you know, not come home and take a nap, you know, and it, it's been working. And now tonight I'll, you know, I'll go to bed and I'll have another conversation, say, you know what, it's a new week. I have some new little goals that I need to do. Give me, you know, so it does work. I mean, people think universe, well, you know what? How's that working for you? <laughs> Cause it doesn't, it doesn't work for me if I don't talk to him, you know? Yeah. I can remember, you know, driving to Chicago to see idiot. Yeah. Mother Earth is only one small space in a huge universe. We are part of something a lot bigger. Yeah. And the thing is, whether we are a million miles away from the next planet or the next um, solar system or whatever, it doesn't matter. In the scheme of things, we are all part of the one cosmos. Yes. We are all part of one energy, and we can tap into that one energy. It doesn't matter where we are in this earth. We can tap into that one energy, and we can make things happen. And that's why, you know, there's yeah, there's a special on on one of the TV stations here about the youth really getting involved in climate control, and you know, the the big corporations are saying, well, they want to take away you know energy from us i says no it's not that we don't want the energy we understand that things have to survive on energy we just want it to be clean we just you know the shit that you're putting in the air and stuff like that you can do it it's just it's it's a scary thing because you know we we've that's all we've known but kudos to the you know kudos to the young people because i mean there's marches and rallies and stuff and i'm like Good for you guys. Good for you guys. You know, take it, taking the earth back. The damage, you know, there's a lot of damage done, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Yeah. So, but, well, I have absolutely loved this chat, but Me I've got too. um to jump off and do a card of the day. And I will and be on I... the card of the day because <laughs> it's funny because it's like, I, <laughs> and I, and I try to say, I try to play it. I try to, you know, make the, the, you know, the hellos different. Like, hey, sister, sister, I love you. You know, so it's like, people, she's in everything. She's in everything. I go, yeah, because that's what sisters do, you assholes. <laughs> I know. I gotta go make, make dinner, get your card of the day, make it a good one. Yep. Hey, yep. I'm, I'm going to do the card of the day, then I'm going to put some dinner on for a hungry man, and then I've got um, a reading to do for one of my other sisters. Oh. So, Are you going to yeah. do the Moon cards or the Old Faithful? Uh, it, um, I have no idea until I ask my guides when I come off here. All right. We shall see what they do. Yeah. I usually um when I when I come off here I usually just as I'm as I'm writing card of the day on the title and stuff, I'll kind of say, right, which one do I need? You know, and uh, they usually show me every time. So I know. Um, yeah. So, so we, All right. we, we, I will see you on card of the day then. Will do. And then of course after that I'm gonna do a little miniature um ticky tocky of card of the day and then I know yeah, I watched it the other day. I was like, man, she's just whizzing through this shit. Facebook, she's like, yeah. TikTok, she's like, this is your card of the day. This is what it says. This is what it does. Bye. <laughs> yeah, and I kind of say, you want the whole whole deal? You want the whole reason? Come on to Facebook group and you'll get the whole <laughs> Go to my YouTube channel because that's where I've done the card, the full card of the day. Yeah, 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 TikTok. It's like we're TikToking. We're TikToking. Get on, get off. So, no, all right. I'm, 50, I'm 57, but I'll go and do my TikTok. <laughs> I, 
I love you. Go do your card of the day. And I'll see you on there. Well, and thank you for joining me. And uh, thank you to Katie for joining us as well. Um, and welcome to Seth. I know she disappeared for the yes, day. Yes, she had for the work. I hope you um, enjoy. And I will send that shop link to you after I've done my live. I promise. It's on my wish list. It's on my to-do list. Um, but my links are always in my bio anyway. So if any of my shop links are on the bio, um, I'm going to my links also at the top of this group page as well. My links everywhere, you know, doesn't matter where you are, you know. I'm going to show up wherever. Hell, I even show up in Wendy's house because she's used to it. Um, she does. But yeah. She does. <laughs> Sometimes she, you know. Yeah, she does. It's fun. Oh, yeah. 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 So. Astral travel, astral travel is in a world and league of its own. Let me tell you. Yeah. The yes. Thing, the thing that you hey, see I want to you ask you something. So there is this yeah. movie that, well, it was a series, and it's the last series. The season is the, is the final series. Have you ever heard of? It's and this isn't what the the series, the novel series. It's the discovery of witches. I'll have to get the I'll have to get what the actual novel that's based off of a novel. There right. was some cool shit that this witch was doing. Weaving, where she would go like this and you would see it and she would like weave. I was like, I want to do that. And I was like, I wonder if it's possible. I gotta ask Catherine. I like, Catherine! This because it was like, I mean. In the in the I know it's a show, but wouldn't it be cool like to actually see like she was weaving a spell and she was like taking the elements and stuff like this and and go oh I was like oh oh that was so cool be so real. And then she it's was weaving your, it's weaving your intentions into the universe. You're actually you know you know if you when you're um, knitting. Right, you're you're creating something with the yarn. When you're weaving fabric, you're creating something with the yarn, and you're putting your intentions into that yarn. You can um, visualize your goal, and what you can do is we call it um, energy thread. So we take our energy thread, and we have our goal in the center of your loom, your weaving loom. And you're kind of just stitching through, spiraling through. That's what she was weaving. doing. She was doing it, but they were showing you like the energy. She was showing you that. Yes. They were showing you. She is just weaving through, spiraling through, tying knots if you need to tie a knot. And you weave your intentions into the web. It's called the web of life. And you just weave your intentions. That's what she was doing. But like in the show, they were they were showing you like energy, what she was doing. But she was doing that. She was, you know, pulling it and then you know I was like, that is so cool. I wonder, I wonder if it's out there. I gotta ask Catherine. <laughs> so it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Holy crap, you and I have a whole new discussion to talk about, shit, girlfriend. <laughs> That's a whole new fucking live. <laughs> oh, you and I have to, you and I have to have a I now I gotta come over there. Eighteen hundred dollars. Universe, I need eighteen hundred dollars for a plane ticket. Yeah. You and I, you and I have some freaking and you can weave a web anywhere. You can be out in the woods or in your garden and you can weave the web wherever. So you set your intention. You imagine a weaving loom where you've got um, the, the string coming down the way and across. And then you 
set your intentions in the middle so you, your loom is kind of um not horizontal, vertical uh -huh. in the front of you. So you're taking your intention and you're placing it in the center of your loom. That's your intention, right? I usually put my intentions in there and then I put the air, earth, fire and water symbols around it. And then I take my thread and I'm basically just weaving in and out, spiraling down, weaving in and out, going along, weaving, spiraling, weaving, until the weave, the web is covered your intentions and the elements. And as you do the last stitch, as I will, it still makes it be necessary. This is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my God. Holy shit. Wow. And you can you use your intuition, just go with the flow. You will be able to, when, when you set your intentions in the middle of your loom, go with the flow. The energy will tell you, am I going left? right or am I going right to left or am I doing a spiral? Not the first time I've been in the garden and Mouse has looked out the garden window and I'm sitting there spiraling in the air. And my neighbours are probably thinking she's lost the clock. <laughs> and I'm thinking and I'm thinking, no I haven't because you're in the middle of the web, you sucker. And I'm like <laughs> Um, but it's a very powerful, um, when, when you are in the middle of nowhere and you want to set your intentions, you, unless you're going to go around with a, a pocket full of jars and candles to, to draw your picture, put it in the <laughs> jar, like, you know, you're going to be weighed down, right? So sometimes I'll go in the woods and the woods are healing. So you get a lot of visions and you get a lot of answers in the woods and you're like, okay, I need to set that intention. I'm just going to do it right here and now. So I'm going to set my intention. I'm going to draw my all right, air right, your intention. You don't need a pen or paper. You just write it. You put your elements around it and then you read. And you continue to read till you get to the last knot. You knot it together and you say, as I will, it so must it be, bless thee. Wow. Wow, because I, I, like I said, I mean, I was watching it. I was watching it, I was just blown away. And I'm like, I, I wonder, I mean, of course you're not going to see the energy because you don't see energy, you feel it. But I wonder if that is such a thing that us witches do is doing that. And I was like, oh, I got to ask Catherine. Wow. You weave your you weave your magic into a web. That is so flippin' cool. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, you need to go do part of the day and I need to go like stand in like a thousand. Like where's my dry erase board? <laughs> where's my marker? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. And it's something that witches have been doing since time began. Wow, that's just, I, wow. My, wow, yeah. I'm so glad I'm a witch. I need to go back to it. Have, 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 a, have a go at um, weaving. That would be so, oh, I, I'm so, it's a geek. <laughs> And you can do, you know, you were saying the other day on your live that sometimes when you're at work, you can feel all that negative energy around you. And yeah, because the people are just. You. Right? Well, while you're at work, gather all of, physically, gather all that energy. So you're gathering it above, below, gather it, stick it in the center of your loom, earth, air, fire, and water and weave that sucker in 
you are stitching all that negative energy in and then take the web and put it in the sash. Oh, you probably think I'm fucking nuts. <laughs> See what I got? What the fuck is she doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't fuck with me. Because now I have a yeah. new tool. Yep. Yeah. You can literally, you know, uh, and you don't have to do it physically in front of everybody. You could be sitting at a work desk and you could be weaving your web under the desk. Who, who, who sees it? Nobody. And there's no time limit for this. Like you could do it very quickly. You could do it very quickly. Okay. All right. I can weave a web with all the nasty shit in it in literally seconds. <sighs> you know, like for example, there's my intention, my elements. Even up as I will let someone be done. Damn. Ah, oh, this is like I said. And practice makes practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more results you'll get, and you'll get quicker at weaving. Okay. It's visualizing, it's visualizing that almost invisible loom. Yeah. And then you work on the loom. Wow. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And right. Before they channel positive energy when there's um, negative energy, I'm not going to stand up, but you, you would stand up with both feet on the floor. You take your left hand and your middle finger, not like that, just at the side, and you would raise your hand. And you spiral down to the earth again, up to the top, spiral up to the top, spiral, and you're pulling the positive energy down and around you. So I would do a, a spiral that's big enough for my 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 brain. I would kind of. Spiral and down. Spiral and down. Remember the energy that you have within you, your physical and spiritual energy. This is your power finger. Your left hand, middle finger is your power finger. If you don't have a wand when you're out in nature, you point your finger. That's your power finger. Oh. So if I wanted, if I for example, if I wanted to revive a, a plant that was kind of on its way out, it was kind of dying with nutrients, I would simply take, I'm just going to use my candle as a plant pot, but I would have my plant pot, take my middle finger and I would say, just in a circle around it, I put healing into this plant. The plant will the, the plant will grow and and survive. Wow. This you is have so the hammer in your middle left finger. That's where you hold all your energy. I and just you can sit that the way I just you want. my ring, my tourmaline ring, to my power finger, like without even it was just like. Now I know. Protecting yeah. my finger. Oh, I. Yep. I'm so excited. I'm so so you, always, you always have your wand on your hand. That's the wand. That's your spiritual <sighs> wand. So I can use a wand anywhere. I just need to point it and direct it. If I want to do a protective circle around me, I use my little finger and I will draw a protective circle. You should, are you still doing private lessons? Yeah. Send me the information. Because you're not going to do mine for free. I will not do I will not do this for free because I'm your sister and you love me and I love you. 
send, send me the information on that and I'll see what I can do. Because I would love to learn more about this. Yeah. And let's see. I'm going to be um, doing, um, I closed my class sort of at the end of the, the, the first day of the spiritual class or whatever else. Um, I now have a private cup and I think, are you in it? I think yep. I closed yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is going to be some new lessons starting um, next month. Cool. That is really the, the, the coven is kicking off next month, um, and there's going to be some lives in there. There's going to be some um, tutorials in there. Nice. Um, and all all topics such as spiritual weaving, um, manifestation, all of that is going to be included. Nice. You should do. You should get a Zoom. Yeah, that would be awesome. February. I might, uh, I, I, I might speak to Tracy because I don't know how the setting up the Zoom type thing works, yeah. but I'll speak to Tracy yeah. and see how she sets all that up, and I could do some Zooms in there as well. Yeah. So February is February seventh in bulk or is it February first? It will, it, it will start, it will, it, um, it, I'm hoping to start it the first week in February. All right, because in bulk, in bulk is February. When does it fall? Is it the third? In oh my God, I can't type. All the Sabbaths are the 21st. Because on the computer it says in bulk 2022 in Ireland will begin on February 1st and ends on the 2nd. What the hell is that? Yeah. So just in Ireland, in bulk is just in Ireland. <laughs> like, wow. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I got yeah. you. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn all the Sabbaths. We're gonna learn everything within that coven. Cool. Cool. So, all right. Go feed milks. Go do your card of the day. I I've kept you long enough, and I will talk to you later. The spiritual every every Sunday evening at five p.m. will be our spiritual. Come along and ask any spiritual questions that you like. Nice. It was, it was a perfect time for you to ask. Yes. Yes. I, I love you. Love you too. I'm gonna go off and fly and do our card of the day and a ticky talky card of the day, and then feed a hungry man, and then do an, whatever else. Weekends that I'm going to be doing later on. Pretty rich tonight, but I love it. I know. You do. You thrive on it. So, you're on the part of the day. Wow. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye.